In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own progress bar chart inside a cell here in Google Sheets. So I have my example data set right here where I have my daily exercise, the current status of that exercise, my goal and my progress bar. So these are the type of exercises that I want. These are the ones that I have done so far, but my goal are this one. So I want to have a progress bar that would represent how far I have gone with these exercises. And I'm going to do that with the sparkline function. Let's start a formula with an equal sign. Type in sparkline. Open parentheses. Our data, which would be this status right here, comma, now for our options. Basically, what we want to do is to just copy this right here select it or you can just manually type it i'm just going to select it press ctrl c or command c in your keyboard go back to your formula and ctrl v or command v now i have copied that formula and i am just going to change this end part right here into my goal so if i press enter i have an orange progress bar right there and if I drag this down, it will show me the progress that I've made. So right here in this formula, it has adjusted because I have not fixed any cell reference right there. It has moved down and we have D8, which is my current status for the squats and my goal of E8 right here. And it shows me that I have completed those exercises. For our jumping jacks, it's going to be the same thing. Our max would be our goal and our current status will be our data. So let's say you're not a fan of the orange color. You can change the color of your progress bar by simply changing something in your formula right here. We're going to add it after our maximum number right there with a semicolon. Open quotation marks. Put in color one. Now, why I say color one, this is only pertaining to the color of the progress bar, which is the inside of the progress bar. The border lines of the progress bar would be color two. So if you want to change that as well, it's up to you. We can add color one, comma, and the color that you want to change that progress bar to. Let's say blue, closing quotation marks, and enter. And I have changed the color of that progress bar. If we want to change everything here, we can do so by just dragging down our formula. So I have another example right here. I already have the percentage of my progress, which I can just select here in our drop downs. So we're going to do the same thing with our formula. Start with sparkline or select it right there. Select your data, which would be this cell reference right here, comma. Again, we're just going to copy this one. Command C or Control C. Paste Control V. And since we already know that our maximum would be 100, we can just put in 100 right there. And there you have it. Now, if you try and drag this down all the way down to the end of our data set, you will also incur some NA errors because again, we haven't selected the percentage of progress right here. But if we do, those errors will disappear. But if we haven't selected, maybe we haven't even started with those projects yet. What we can do is to just add an if NA function at the beginning. So if NA, go to the end of the formula, comma, leave it blank, closing parentheses, and press enter. And now if we drag this down, it will remove those NA errors in our data set. So if we select something 20 right here, 60 right there, 80 right here, you can do so without any errors appearing. And again, if you just want to change the color, you can do so at the end of your maximum number just put in a semicolon, open quotation marks, put in color one, 
closing quotation marks, comma, open quotation marks, the color of your choice, which would be totally up to you. Let's say magenta. If it's going to recognize it, press enter. And there you have it. So if we drag this down again, it will change the colors of our progress bar. And there you have it. That's how to create your own progress bar chart inside a cell here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.